Hi guys, this is Sarah with Raven's Crochet. Welcome back to the channel and my furry feline Raven is um, in the kitchen eating dinner. Um, I'm fixing to make dinner myself here after this video. I think I'm going to have Fredo chili pie. It's just that chili in the right setting, I guess. I'm in the mood for it, so I'm going to fix Fredo chili pie. But instead of regular Fredo chips, I got the chili cheese flavored chili. Um, Frito chips, so I get that extra chili seasoning. So here's a tip for you, and um, also cheesy puffs and and uh, Cheetos go really good in salads. You get the crunch of a crouton and the cheese, if you know what I mean. I don't know why I threw that in there. I'm in a good mood tonight. Okay, so there's been some craziness going on, um, not in just my life, but in my friend. Melissa's life, <clears throat> the mother of the children whose father just passed away, my friend. Um, it's been really hard. As most of you know, I just went to the funeral and I've had a nice day off today other than the fact that I've had a couple of crying fits off and on, but I did. Um, I'm a Christian. I was raised Baptist, but I have an open heart. I try to have, I try to have an open heart and I try to have an open mind. I try to keep my heart enlarged and I try to keep my soul receptive and try to get a piece of, of, of all the pie so that I have a better understanding of the world around me um, because there are different cultures out there and different areas of the world that do different things um, for different reasons and um, another reason why diversity is so beautiful. Um, I asked Jesus, you know, in prayer, and I did read my Bible for a little more than two hours today, looking for answers and looking for comfort. Uh, I did come to some understanding, but not all. But today's an exciting video. I have a big announcement. Um, this is a happy video, regardless of, regardless of all the crap that's been going on. Um, I don't got time for that. And I'm so excited to share with you guys the good news that I have and I'm going to use my knitting loom here that's in front of me. This Addy King Express was gifted to me by one of my lovely Yoni friends as an early Christmas present. I was so shocked and it was extremely unexpected and it was just like, why? Like you no, haven't even known me that long. I haven't even had this channel a year and it's just like, why? Wow. Wow. Why? Why? Wow. Why? Why me? <laughs> um, but, um, she sees that I appreciate it and I do. I've made five hat and scarf sets for my for friends, um, whose father just passed away and, um, uh, Melissa's the ex-wife. They've shared two kids together and then Justin is her, um, her second husband and they have Brandon together. And so there's five hat and scarf sets for them. And I was so pleased to see that they actually took a family photo. I will post that picture in my comments. Um, not in, I can't, I wish I could put, oh, I wish we could post pictures in the comments on YouTube, right? I will post it on my community page. I've, I've already posted another picture there. It was the oldest son, Brandle. He was posing with one of the hat and scarf sets that I made for him and the family. And it was photo edited to be as a cover for Vogue magazine. He's posing like this. It was, I couldn't resist cracking up laughing. It was so funny. And it really, really brightened up my day. It was um, like four hours after the funeral. It was like around 6 p.m. or so. I saw that notification and it just made me so thrilled. I'm like, oh, like, oh yeah, I'm going to tell my yarny friends here on YouTube. They gave the kick out of it. I certainly did. And, um, I'll go ahead and post the family photo that they, um, have. There is one hat and scarf set that they did not, um, include in the photo because Brandon didn't feel like taking pictures. So he's not in the photo and that's the premier Aurora in the color Anemone. It's like the, kind of like a rainbowy one, but it's a thick four weight yarn. It's really plushy and soft and it's got a lot of blue in it and it's gorgeous for boy or girl really. Um, I hope he really likes it. I hope he enjoys wearing it. It does have fringe. I am going to try to knit up some twisted headbands. I said I would mail off and a couple more hat and scarf sets. 
they can they can share it with whoever whoever wants to claim it in the family um, even Amber um, I thought about gifting another hat and scarf set to her but I don't want to be weird you know I don't even know her I just met her and under different circumstances it would have been a lot better of a meet and greet but the thing is I have a big heart and I care and I know how she feels I mean I knew the guy for a long time and I know what it's like to um, um, lose uh, a love that you once had um, of course when the when the guy died we we hadn't dated for like three years I think it wasn't until after three years after I moved to Maryland I learned of his passing but we still had dated a short time and it was still a little heartbreaking but that's a completely different story um, this time I'm going to show you guys how to make one of my hat and scarf sets I'm going to do a striped pattern um, 10 rows each and I'm going to be using Premier Yarns now this video is not sponsored um, but it is affiliated Today this video is affiliated, I can say that. But it is not it is not sponsored. It is not sponsored by Premiere. But hello Premiere, if you would ever like to sponsor one of my videos, I would be so thrilled and it would be so worth both of our times. I would just be so ecstatic and I would just try to do whatever it took, go above and beyond to make the video better. Um so here we go. The first time I've ever used any Premiere yarn was of course the basics. Basics. It's just like your basic four worsted weight yarn, regular acrylic, easily washable and dryable. It has the Okio Tech certification on it, standard standard 100, which means it's been tested and approved against 350 plus handful substances. And that's really good to know in case you have sensitive skin or, you, or it's for a baby or they have extra sensitive skin. It's to lessen the effect of um, fiber allergies, which is really nice. This colorway, for instance, is the purple, and it's made in Turkey. And it says machine wash, warm, tumble dry. So you can easily care for this. This is some of the yarn I'm using for my temperature blanket. It works up beautifully. This is the stitch definition that you get with the Premier Basics. It's gorgeous. And this is the temperature blanket I'm working on. I haven't made much progress yet because of with everything going, that's been going on in my life the past two weeks. But I plan on picking this up tonight. Uh, certainly within the next um, week I will have it all up to date and ca I will be ca caught up. Um, the second reason that I love Premiere, and this is actually when I actually felt in love with Premiere. Um, for me it was not at love at first sight, but I do have a huge love for the yarn because I have tested this in my washing and drying machines. And there's the exact same kind of um, fuzziness that there was when I when I first crocheted with it up and it has a low very very low feel peel and very low halo you can see right up here in the corner a little bit where it's darker do I have anything darker in the background to show you it's got low peel and it doesn't fuzz up any much more than that when you put it in the washing and drying machine plus the drying machine the vent and the lint trap even in the wash machine there's a there's a lint trap and it collects a lot of lint and fuzzies from from your fabric and so um, drying it and is, is a pretty good idea for this yarn just don't over dry it if you know what I mean and um, the yarn that actually made me true truly fall in love with them is this anti pill everyday DK weight um, I bought four skeins of yarn um, to make a special project with this as some of you may know already when I did the unboxing of these yarns and these four different colors I shared with you guys why I bought the yarn and why I fell in love with Premier Yarns even more and permanently speaking um, the colorway that stuck out to me the most is called Raven R-A-V-E-N right there above the barcode Raven was just next to me on the couch and she just dumped it down but obviously that's her name Raven I gave Raven her name for four different reasons main reason because of my huge love for Edgar Allan Poe my um, aunt and uncle live out in uh, Maryland 
and they're the ones that got me into the Maryland and Baltimore Ravens football. And for those of you who don't know, the Mar the um, Baltimore Ravens NFL football team is the only NFL football team that is named after a literary reference Edgar Allan Poe's um, work, quote, the Raven Nevermore, the Raven, pretty much. So that's the first reason I gave Raven her name. The second reason, she's black. I've always had a liking for black. Because they're like they're like the black duck of the family. They're the oddling. They're they're the neurotic one, the one that gets rejected most of the time. And that's how I feel. That's how I have felt um, mostly in my life. Um, it's being the outcast and the one that's mostly unloved, the most unloved, if you know what I mean. And um, just having that kind of feeling where you're just you're just the ugly duckling and you're the outcast. Um, so, and then the other reason is when I was a kid, I, I loved watching Disney, sh Disney shows. That's So Raven was one of my favorite shows. I loved watching her. She was a black girl and she's cute. And when I was in second grade, I had a black uh, girlfriend, best friend, best friend. Um, her name was uh, Monica, Monica. And we created like a little hip song together with her names. Like Sarah and Monica, da 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 Monica. When we had like it rhymed and everything, so you know it it hurts when someone calls you a racist, and and you know in your heart it's not true because you've got black friends still to this day. Um, one of my favorite people I used to work with at Home Depot, Cortland, you know, Rashid. I saw my old manager actually come into the store yesterday. Um, his name is um. Mick Shaw Benson. He's the store manager at one of the Target stores. He was. He works for another company now, but he used to be my manager at the Target store off um, here in the city, um, off one of the major Northwest Expressways. And oh, he was so cool to work with. He's a real short, skinny guy. Like I used to make fun of his height a little bit, you know. Even even when he came into the store yesterday, it was so funny. I mentioned his midget size and he laughed he laughed right back at me like hey back to old times you know like hey what's up man he came in for his gas receipt that's all he had he had more of a shaggy beard but i still recognized him and uh his kid is all grown up now and um he was nice really really nice to see him so hi mcshaw benson if you ever see this i highly ever doubt you will but hello much respect for you and i miss working with you so um and then at a Home Depot, there was another black guy. Um, what was his name? Ken. Ken, big, tall, bald, bald guy. He was really cool to work with. Um, he worked in my sister department in the hardware store. And I always got finished in my department early. I would go kick it with him, and, and we would go finish up the small tiddly bits on the chains and nails aisles where all the small merchandise and stuff. And, and then the, the tool corral area. For the most part, that's easy. It was pretty much the surrounding aisles where, like, the mailboxes are and the stickers. But anyway, I'm rambling. I love Premier Yarns. I'm in love with them. I'm an affiliate now. If you haven't guessed already, I'm sorry I'm rambling, but I'm in a feel-good mood tonight. And I'm finally feeling good enough. I wanted to give you guys another video and show you guys how I'm feeling. Doing so much better. Thank you guys so much for the prayers and the love. And the sweet comments, I really, really do appreciate it. Um, winter is doing better. Prayers for the family and baby, baby winter. This yarn, I have not worked with it yet. I have not tested and washed and dried this yarn yet. So, um, but I will be doing that um, hopefully soon as I get caught up with the temperature blanket and the shawl poncho. And I want to get some more of these hats and, and headband warmers knitted up and mailed off. I've got two other packages I'm just about to mail off. I just need to get them all gathered and boxed up. But um, I have felt really, really bad about not getting these packages out. They should have been out two weeks ago, and I deeply apologize to those two of you who are expecting mail from me. Um, it's coming. I know that it's okay. I know you can be understanding, and blah. I've been going through a lot, yada, yada, yada. I still feel bad. I'm a human being. I still feel bad. I'm still going to feel bad and worry about it, but that's why I'm going to be adding a whole bunch more goodies to these boxes because that's how much I love you guys for being so patient and understanding and willing to stick around and watch me 
And also for that, I will be having another giveaway soon. Um, I will be having a giveaway in February to show that I love you guys because this year you guys, you guys are my Valentine. I, I, I ask, I, I hope that you'll be my Valentine if you're willing. Um, send me some hearts in your comments in February. You don't have to right now, but you know, in your comments in February, you know, let's try to share more hearts throughout um, each other's comments. You can, you can start now if you want to. I mean, people are already celebrating February. It's already a month away. In January, here it is the 18th, right? So start leaving more hearts in each other's comments. How about that? Because I love spreading hearts. And a lot of my messages, I leave four different colored hearts in, in, in my messages, sometimes in my comments, most of my emails. And those four different colored hearts represent me and my and 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 my three sisters because there's all four of us. We all have S names. We all have a heart because I love all of them equally the same. Um, we're not all, all close, but I love my sisters all the same. So I always leave my me my messages with hearts at the end because I'm always thinking about them. I always have love for family. Family comes first, and the family that you choose to have in your life are your friends. They also come first. Um, and then Yarny friend community, you guys are in a new family. You guys come first as well. So the more hearts we spread, the more love, right? Right? Let's try to leave more heart emojis in our comments. Even the little emojis with like the heart shaped eyes. Anything that has to do with a heart or unicorns. Unicorns are cool too. Okay, so this, let me, I'm, I got, I'm thinking you guys might be interested in these colors. So obviously this is Raven. This one is Cappuccino. It best represents her skin because she's got dark fur. This one I chose because it's one of my favorite colorways too. It's not your typical baby pink. This is called Rose. It's like an antique mauve. And it's a little tied a tiny bit darker than the inside of her ear color. Um, but it's uh, and it's a little bit darker than her skin than her tongue color. But it's close enough, you know, she's dark fur. And then I chose something old and classic to go with it because this is an antique mauve. Something that would complement the mauve and offset its color and, and add more color to the shawl. This dark one is called Grape Jam. So I've got Raven, Cappuccino, Rose, and Grape Jam. And I thought that just looked like an antique purple, like an antique orchard. Let me turn my light on here. There we go. You can see that effectiveness of the light better. And Raven is pretty much like a deep, your deepest charcoal black. It's, yeah, it's a, it's like a charcoal black. I think that's gorgeous. And I'm going to make a striped triangular shawl with this. That's my plan for this. Now I think that light might be too bright, washing it out. I think the medium lighting might be best. So the yarn I'm using today is also by Premier since I love them so much and since they are so generous to give me an affiliate link that is now included in my description box below and it'll um, always be available just in case you feel like going through that link and placing an order with Premier Yarns. No pressure, It's this is completely up to you, your choice, but I do get a small percentage when you use the affiliate link. Um, it helps up my channel and that would be great funding for buying yarn for the channel because my A is broke and I would very much like to be able to order yarns just to unbox to show you guys. Um, and I think what I'm also going to do is I'm going to be donating. Hi baby, Raven is here to join us. I'm going to be donating a lot of that yarn into my giveaways for you guys. So you guys will be funding giveaways for, for, for you. So you might get some of the yarn that you end up helping me buy. So I think that's fun. That's a fun idea. What do you think, Raven? What do you think? Maybe I put 25, 55, 75% of the yarn in a giveaway. And of course, I will also be including some of my own yarn, um, a lot of which are ice yarns, but I have other yarns that I may include in giveaways. And, um, and then of course you got to have a hook and a little bitty pair of scissors and a darning needle. You'll get like a small little kit for me pretty much. I think that'll be exciting. 
So um, let's get this knitting hat started. I'm going to do 10 rows each. The yarn I'm using is called Premier Chema, Chemanik. I still don't remember how to pronounce this yarn. My friend M and I have discussed this twice, perhaps three times by now. Chemanik, Chemaniks is how I'm seeing it. This is A28 yarn. This colorway is um, sand. Uh, I'll let you see if you can read the stats on the screen. I'll read you stats from another ball band. 380 yards, 348 meters, 3 ounces, 85 grams. It is 80% acrylic, 10% mohair, 10% polyamide. It is a two fine weight yarn. The symbols hand wash, lay flat to dry, do not bleach, do not iron. And the P means you can have this dry cleaned with certain chemicals at your local dry cleaners. Hand wash, dry flat. Find free patterns at premieryarns.com. There is more than 8,000, I hear. The colorway I'm holding back here is called Petal. It's like a light powder pink or powder lavender. It's like a powder pink, but it offsets this color. Uh, and this colorway is called Heirloom Rose. I almost forgot. Heirloom Rose. Right above the barcode. And the, all of this yarn came in a pack of three. I got three skeins of each color, and my friend M sent me these in that big O huge pick-me-up box. Which that box, by the way, she had been collecting for four to five months. Half of that box, which were Christmas presents that she couldn't ship because she was so sick. I'm so glad that you're feeling better, Em. Um, I really love the way this yarn feels. I like these three colors together. Sand, petal, heirloom rose. So I'm going to knit up a hat. 100 rows on my um, Addy loom here. And... Um, this is, might be a little bit of a long video. It's a, we're already 22 minutes in. So you really want to try to start from the middle of your skein because it's easier on the tension and it's so much faster to get your yarn. Now once you have your working yarn ready, set it aside. We're not going to put this on the loom directly. We've got to have what's called waste yarn. And waste yarn is simply that. It's waste. It's not going to be used in the project. Waste yarn, I have been seeing a lot of um, knitting tutorials, they use waste yarn, so that way when they um, go back to collect the live stitches that they use with their working yarn, it leaves off a more professional look, a cleaner edge, it is so much easier to gather and straighten your ends. So, with that being said, you're also going to need some tools if you have a knitting loom, if you have a Centro or another brand, if you would like to do this project, feel free. Um, I want you also, you're going to need a pair of scissors. You just do. You work with yarn, you need scissors. I like these little bitty ones. I order these off Amazon. This link is always in my description box below. If not, you can go to one of my way older videos and the link will be in that description box below. Or you can just type in Amazon, um, small folding scissors. And you can get them in metal or plastic. The blades are always metal, but these handles are plastic. I do have a nicer pair where the handles are metal, but those are in a special place. Probably, actually, probably in one of my project bags. Who are we kidding? Um, I like the way these fold up, though, so I don't accidentally cut myself. I have a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook because it is so much easier to close up your ends. Some tutorials um, suggest to use a 5 millimeter crochet hook, and that's what they use to close up their ends. But sometimes your stitches can get pulled from the stitch to the, um, to the next. You know, when you're familiar with knitted stitches, your stitches go pretty much up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and they're looped and decide one each other. So when one stitch is pulled too much, your stitch right next to it is going to be pulled onto. So it's going to be really short. It's going to be really difficult to get your five millimeter crochet hook into that stitch. So I use a three point five millimeter, and it works perfect for me. And it's not too small to where I can't pull on my yarn, even if I'm working with a four millimeter, even if I'm working with a four worsted weight yarn off my knitting loom. Um, I'm working with a two fine weight yarn today, and I, I find that two weight yarns and three weight yarns work best on my Addy machine. Um, you can use a four weight yarn as long as it's not on the chunky side. Make sure it's on the thinner side because that will work much better. 
and it won't feel like it's having a hard time cranking out, if you know what I mean. So we're starting with the waist yarn, and I already have it um, pre 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 measured, ready to go because I've used it so many times. You can use it like up to up to ten times before it gets tangled or you lose it in your stitches trying to um, detach it from your from your live work. So um, get your machine back to the first stitch. This red rim around your entire loom has little bitty numbers, and they are um, they are facing actually inside your loom. So I'm seeing the numbers upside down, but this first black stitch to me, to my left, to your right, I have two black needles. But this, the one on my furthest right, which is on your furthest left, is my white needle and that white needle says 40 this black needle says one so I'm starting with this black needle right here that's something I wanted to point out to you because a lot of tutorials that I've seen the black needles where they start they go by that so fast and they don't pause to explain that that they don't start on this side of the black needle they start on this side of the black needle and they don't really I don't know I don't just don't feel like that they explain that enough so I always just drop my ball of, of waist yarn and I and I take a small chunk and I hold it over my needle and I crank until that yarn goes down and that needle is holding that now so don't pull on your yarn but it, it's it's in there so I can't I can't lift it out so now I'm just going to wrap my round wrap my yarn in front of every other hook every other needle hook needle whatever you want to call it and go slow, making sure, see I just went underneath two needles, I need, I need to go underneath one at a time. Every other needle, not two at a time, just every other. And take your time because this is your foundation, you want it to be right. And sometimes I can get ahead of myself, sometimes my brain goes faster than my mouth. And I'll get ahead of myself and a lot of times. See, I messed up. I messed up somewhere, so I'm going to go back. This is how I can go back. So I just hold my yarn. I crank it back. You see, I've got three. I've got three um, back needles exposed right there. I'm only supposed to be around two, and I'm around three. So that's as far back as I'm going to crank. I'm just going to gently unweave my yarn go back if go back if your first hook is caught in your yarn which mine was so just pretty much go back and start over no big deal fast forward the video please if you don't mind doing that because um I don't know how to do that in my video so I apologize but I'm back to the beginning I'm going to thread my yarn through and I'm not even going to reset my timer. This is just my waist yarn. As long as you get at least five, between five and ten rows of this yarn on your needles, you will be fine. And go slow on your first two rounds because this is your foundation. You want to make sure that nothing is sticking. And you don't want to make sure your yarn isn't being pulled or getting caught on any of your hooks. Got one more round to go till I get to the black hooks. I ran out of yarn, so when that happens, I make sure I have a tail left. I drop that. I grab another small thing of waist yarn, and I attach. I put those two tails right together, so I know where one stopped and 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 one begins. And I just re-thread my yarn through the feeder, close the latch, and then I hold these two tails together. And I crank the handle a few stitches, about four, six stitches, eight stitches, okay? Then now I go back and I gently hold my yarn and crank. You don't have to tie those together. I'm not going to because I could use those separately next time. Before my needle lifts up from where these two tails are, go slowly. Make sure you're watching these come back around. I go back and I gently tug them down. 
and I kind of gently hold, don't pull them, just gently hold on to them so they don't flip up. And then let your hooks do your knitting. And then come back up just slowly and just go back and hold your yarn. And that way you don't lose your stitches right there in that spot. And just keep going around. Oops, I got caught somewhere. My yarn split, that's what happened. Let's see if I can get past this. Sometimes if you need to go back a few stitches, that's okay. Well, yeah, big mistake on my yarn here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it out. And I'm going to go back a few stitches. And... Now I'm going to refeed my yarn through the feeder. And the yarn is messed up. This is waste yarn. This is why you start with waste yarn and not your working yarn. I'm just gonna crank a few more rows and see if I can get these re and put on the um, loom. If not, then I'll have to start all over, which is not the deal. That's again why you wanna use your waste yarn instead of your working yarn. So I'm not going to be able to um, start my project because this waste yarn is kaput. So what a lot of the tutorialists are doing is you just keep cranking a couple more rows without any yarn going through your feeder and as you can see it takes it right off the loom. And there's the waste yarn. So I'm going to trash that or I'm gonna put it in my scrap yarn bin because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fuss with that yarn again it split on me so we're gonna get some more waste yarn and a whole bin full of waste yarn here so I'm starting with the cream color so I'm gonna start with this one it's a dark burgundy color you want to make sure you're using a color that's very contrasting to your working yarn so that when you go back for your live stitches it's not hard to find them so I'm just going to recast on every other hook and go around and around and around until I get back to the beginning, making sure I'm fitting this all correctly. Okay. My working yarn is getting caught. Okay, got that separated. Back to the feeder. And then just gently crank the handle. I've got a six inch tail hanging down here, six inch tail. So that's not gonna um, slip out of place. I just do a few rounds. I'm gonna go ahead and head and end this video here, guys, because I'm already 33 minutes in. Um, I'm going to stop with a waste yarn here in this next in this next row count I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to cut my yarn and I'm going to end the video here guys and I'm cutting about six inches away from the feeder and in my very next video I will show you guys how to change um, onto your working yarn and um, keep track of your rows and all that stuff so thank you guys for watching um, spread love, not hate. Try not to be negative. Try to be positive. Um, and um, just, just try to spread more love. Leave some hearts in your comments if you want to. And let's try to do that all February. I think that would be so cool. Even past Valentine's Day, let's just try to put more hearts in our comments and be more loving towards one another. Mwah, I love you guys. Um, come see me in my next video if you want to see me knit up this hat and this hat will be gifted to one of those people in the family so um i don't yet know what the hat's going to look like yet um but i'm going to show you guys how i do it in my next video and how i close it up too okay bye bye